G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in this World of Warcraft playthrough on my human palette in Artraxius. Uh, we just reached Ashen Vale. That's actually right at the top. So, we are ready to begin. Evanar still whisper. Bathran's here. There is a plant that grows in the old ruins of Bathran's haunt across the road to the east. The plant is called Bathran's hair and is known to cure ailments of the spirit. Now the Horde are there harvesting the plant for their own evil schemes. There is a sick child in Astrona, and we believe that her illness is more than just physical. I promised my master that I would help seek a cure, but I am no fighter. Will you go to Bathron's haunt and gather the plants? Dear Nightmares. I will. I shall. I'll do it. How may I help? Sentinel. Don't forget the Horde. Evanar and the other apprentices may not be much use in a battle, but you look like you can hold more than hold your own. The Horde scum across the road to the east at Bathran's Haunt need to be taught a lesson. Their new warlord, Garrosh Hellscream, has them up to no good. Feel like teaching them a thing or two? I'd come with you, but my assignment is to stay here and protect Orindil's apprentices, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, you do that, and I'll go do this. Uh, we've also got to talk to that tree over there. Bathran. Of their own design, these creatures, these so-called horde, they have cut me down in my prime, and they're harvesting my hair for their evil plans. Will you help me put an end to it, little human? I have overheard their herbalists speaking of something called wildfire upon their table across the way. If you were to take the bottle of this unnatural stuff and throw it at my corpse to the northeast, it would burn and no more of my hair will grow there here. I am already dead, and it is a small price to pay to stop them. You got it. You've got a pal. What are you doing here? Putting an end to all the herbalists. And horde presence. I'll keep fighting my way this way. Rest in fire and flame. There's a lot of them around here. I need one more. This place is so dense. I wonder if it's the same like this in Cataclysm Classic. If you have this many enemies around. Body.
There's the table. There's me bathing in poison. Bottle of wildfire. Bathran's corpse burned. You have helped me to return to the ground, Artraxius. Now my hair will cease to sprout for these creatures. Better yet, I will be regrown all the sooner. Happy to help. It's Bathrun who you had to kill in Season of Discovery. In the Battle for Ashen Vale. Because he is in that position. I think he's in the... Was it, it was either there or... Yeah, I think it was around there. One of the bosses you had to kill. I am on. The sentinel eyes you appreciatively for a moment. A job well done, Paladin. If you're any indication of the quality of the human adventurers we're going to be seeing more of, we should have this war against the Orcs and their horde taken care of faster than expected. Goddess, watch over you. Be careful. Have you gathered the Bathron's hair, Atraxius? The child's health grows weaker by the hour. Asha, Fela. Ah, you have the hair. This is a good first step. There are other ingredients that we will need, but the hair of the fallen ancient could well be the most important. I only hope that whatever the Forsaken are devising from the plant will not be turned into a weapon. We simply do not have the numbers to remove them right now, especially the Maestra's post under attack. Farewell. Delivery for Orendil? Quickly, Artraxius. I will put the Bathron's hair into this bag, but you must deliver it to my master, Orendil Broadleaf. You'll find him at Maestra's post just south down the road to the left. But beware, we've received reports that the post is under attack from the Horde. Goodbye. What dream is you? West to the Strand? Atraxius, I have a friend who could make good use of particular talents. His name is Talon, and he's an archaeologist of sorts. Recently, he's been fascinated with the upheaval Fair of man. the old city. Hello. Of Zoram and its treasures. If you're willing to help lend him a hand, you could find him at the Black Fathom camp down to the path to the west. Good luck, friend. Alright, we'll stick a pin in that because this seems to be more of an urgent. More urgent. Where is this horde? Well, the place is on fire. That's a start. Sentinels are here. Oh, they've got their catapults over there. Ashenvale Wrecker. You're a brave one to come here, given the circumstances. What business have you, stranger? Already the leaves in the bag appear to be wilting. You should quickly get them to Arendil at Maestra's post. May the stars come. Ah, so Evanar was successful. Actually, more to the point, you were successful. I cannot thank you enough, Paladin, but there is more that must be done to the leaves before they will serve as a curative for what ails the child Relara. Farewell. 
Ashenvale is a lush forest brimming with life. It is a pleasure to walk down its secret paths in search of herbs, but one must take care. The forest is not without its dangers. Bathed in light, the concoction is not quite complete. It must be bathed within the light of a loon before we can even think about giving it to the child. There is a known location just to the west at Lake Falathim, where the goddess's moonlight always touches down. Day or night, please, Atraxius, I implore you, for the sake of Ralara, take this concoction and bathe it in the loon's radiance. But beware, strange things have befallen the area of the lake, and I fear that it is no longer safe to go there. What brings you here? Finding Terranus, a friend of mine from Astrana, Rain Wolfrunner, asked me to send a scout west of Lake Falathim. Terranus left days ago, just before the Horde attacked. He was searching for an item we thought could slow the Furbolg attacks on our people. A rod created by a now dead evil wizard. Before he left, he mentioned a gem for the rod. Unfortunately, we know that the lake has been invaded by some evil force. Please, Artraxius, find my friend. Is it Murlocs? Are the Murlocs still about? I am on. Hey, Moon Priestess. The reason why? The Furbolg have descended from the heights and overrun the ruins of Ordilaran to the north. I believe they did so because they were attracted to what the dead cultists have uncovered. Three moonstones. Liladris Moon Rover will counsel you to deal with the Furbolg in a more direct manner, and I will not gainsay her, but I would ask that you not that you go to the ruins and deactivate the moonstones. Oh, here we go. Liladris. A loon be with you. Rear guard duty. The moon priestess has a plan to make sure that no further furbolg descend upon us from the highlands. I am more concerned with those that are already at the ruins, some of which are massing just outside of the post, distasteful as it may be. I must ask that you head north into the ruins of Ordil Aran and slay the Furbolg. We cannot fight on two fronts. Thank you, Paladin. I am on. A squad of your own. I certainly hope that you're here to help, Paladin. The situation is as dire as it appears. To put it quite simply, we are losing. My girls and I are the last line of defense against the Horde, but we're not going to get out of this one without taking the fight to them. You up to the challenge? I have a small squad of Sentinels that I can loan to you, get them close, and I'm certain their magic arrows can destroy those wreckers and invaders. Speak to me again if you need replacements. Goddess, watch over me. All right, ladies. Let's do this. Doing sentinels. What brings everyone good? Wasted. It's three out of three. I'd received a report about you from some of my scouts out in the forest, but I had no idea how capable you are. Thank you, Atraxius. With what you've accomplished, the tide is turned. I've no doubt now that we'll rout out them by the end of the day. Respect for the Fallen. 
There were two humans here, Firo Aidan and Delegrin the Purifier. They were members of a holy organization known as the Argent Dawn. Both fell defending the post when the Horde first attacked. I'm going to loan you my magical cloak. It was a gift from Scenarius that allows me to move invisibly. Find both of the corpses and retrieve Firo's hammer and Delegrin's prayer book. Firo's corpse is in the courtyard and Delegrin is atop the tower. Beware the warlock up there will be able to see you. Farewell. Invisibility? Stealth Paladin? Yeah, they were. Two, uh, two NPCs we had to talk to for various quests. Fortunately, they've met their end. Now the Warlock's gonna see me, that's just fine. We can take our revenge. But that's not the way of the light, yes it is, damn it. That's the way of the fading light. Or maybe the burning light. Pathetic weakly, you'll die quickly. Let's get rid of your friend first. Garrosh, I have failed you. Yes, you have. Delagren. losses here have been staggering. Furo's holy hammer. This hammer is heavy. The man that wielded it must have been strong indeed. The Purifier's prayer book. The book contains Delagren's, Delgren's Argent Dawn prayers, as well as a diary of his travels. Shame I can't read that. Be careful. I do not look forward to writing a letter to the Argent Dawn embassy in Darnassus. At least we'll be able to send their most prized possessions back for their loved ones. I cannot thank you enough for your courage, Artraxius. Please accept this on behalf of the post. Furo's pauldrons? Good luck, friend. I shall wear them. That's... Now we go down south. Or north, rather. I always get that every time I come to this zone I start traveling towards Ashervale, thinking Ashervale's north. Thistle for wise one. Deactivated. These ruins kind of came out of nowhere, didn't they? Stone deactivated.
All the moonstones deactivated. Definitely don't remember that ruin there. In classic. Nor this. But you can't see a path winding up. Fellwood. I mean, some time has passed. I don't know, maybe they found it and they popped it there. Alright, so I've got to go... I've also got to go over here. So let's do that first, and then we'll come back. Oh, we got tentacles. We got tentacles. Tendril from below. Don't you flay my mind. Agent of the old god. Terranus. Terranus's body lies broken atop the small rise next to the keeper. Deep slashes crisscross his corpse. The lost gem. As you rummage through Terranus's belongings, you find a water damaged journal. Quickly flipping through the last legible pages, you read that Terranus makes mention of finding the gem, but then of having lost it in the Falothim area. The only thing left to do is find it. Perhaps the tendrils have it. We must safeguard the land. That which has risen. When I sensed these things rising from below, I came to put them back down. I found the corpse of your friend and dragged him as far as I could before one of my fetlocks was broken. It is all that I can do to hold off these foul tendrils. There is one that controls the tendrils and eyes. It calls itself Harbinger Aphotic. I'm sure that you have heard it yelling from the south. The Harbinger stands out of range of my magic, but you could get to him if you dare. Good luck. I dare. Minor imperfections on the bottom of the gem reinforce the idea that it is used to be fitted into something else. Glowing gem retrieved. Ah, there we go, there's the light. The light in the darkness. Bathed in the light. And there's our target. Fire for you. Hit me with a shadow nova. For means nothing, we are without end. How may I aid you? My vigil is eternal. With the death of the Harbinger, I can begin to cleanse the lake. 
You have my deepest thanks, Artraxius. I mourn the loss of your friend, but know that his remains will fuel the reclamation of the forest there hereabouts. Do not stray from the path ahead. Heart wise boot. Right, all the jobs are done. Let's return hand in. Let's see if we can't get rid of all these catapults. Did you have any trouble getting to the light of a loon at Lake Falathim? With a concoction blessed by the light of a loon, it should be ready for delivery to Astronar. There is no time to waste, Artraxius. Orindil's cure, Artraxius. Now that it has been bathed in a loon's blessed light, I believe that the concoction will help the afflicted child. Please, take it to Astronar and give it to the child's parent, Pell Turis, White Moon. To reach Astra, follow the road south and then east. However, if you'd like to get there more swiftly, speak with Sentinel of Ana. Good night. Ah, welcome back, Artraxius. This is terrible, Artraxius. Terranus is dead. The time for mourning will come, but for now we must focus our efforts. I will send some of the Sentinels to recover Terranus's body and assist the Keeper. You have the gem that Terranus was seeking? It must be delivered to Astronar. Farewell. To Rain Wolfrunner. I would ask you to deliver the gem directly to Rain Wolfrunner. Last I heard she was still in Astronar to the southeast. At least the road between here and there is still relatively safe. So it should be a simple matter of following it there. Of course, if you'd rather. I believe Sentinel of Anna would be willing to loan you one of her night savers to swiftly make the trip. Whatever you choose, good health to you, Artraxius. May our paths cross again soon. May the stars come. Thank you, Artraxius. With the Moonstones of Ordiloran deactivated, we should not need to worry any more about the incursions of Furbolg here. However, my scouts have returned with disturbing news from the Furbolg village. There is an imminent danger amassing there. I wonder, might I entice you to carry a warning to Astronar for me? Go in peace. Peace be with you. We are in your debt, Paladin. If I know anything about the Furbolg, they do not like their noses bloodied. It won't be long before they tuck tail and return to their village. Asha Fela. Alright, well, I am going to Astronar. Astronaut bound, you have been of great assistance to us, Atraxius. Without you, we would have been wiped out by now. It would be my pleasure to offer you one of my night savers any time to ride to Astronaut up and to the north southeast. I'm sure that you have very important business to attend to there. I would consider a great kindness if you would speak with my sister, Sentinel Luara, when you arrive to tell her that I am well. Just speak to me again when you are ready to go. And any time that you need a ride, it is yours. May the stars guide you. Uh, well, I do have this to do, but... Let's do this first. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, straight through the fire. I would have thought going through those. Okay. Yep. Sure. <laughs> I would have thought going around would have been the better move rather than right through the horde. But sure, why not? Probably should have taken my sword out and got ready to give the old chop chop. This will fill the village. Past the shaman. We're too blazing quick for them. Here's Astronar. All good and well. Oh, and on fire. And attacked. What do you view here? Havana is alive? I feared that she might be dead when we heard about the attack on Maestra's post. As you can see, we have our hands full with the Horde here as well. You have given me the greatest gift by letting me know she is well. 
Anytime that you wish to ride on one of my night savers back to Maester's post, it is yours. 